Hey guys, how's it going? Eddie here, Cornell Bag Reviews, back again with another review. And today we got the Strive Puma, my favorite Strive bag so far. Before we start, we got the Queen City Yard Games boards. You guys know I love these boards. They got boards, bags, carrying cases, everything you can think of. Link below to check them out. Gladiator Cornell Glove, love this thing. Eddie 10, 10% off. Link below for that as well. And Patreon, appreciate everyone who's supported me so far. I know I've said this feel a bunch of times, but if you want to support the channel, Patreon links down below. Just some of the shout outs and patches, but appreciate every single person that supported me so far far but puma by strive so immediately out of the package i knew this is going to be my favorite bag it is a fast bag so we're looking at a seven on the slow side and nine on the fast side seven side is that soft seven material that you're used to seeing in the fast side of carpet bags vikings chaos fast side is that pro sniper viper fast side so this is basically a viper with no dots similar to like a fire heat but bigger template figure like Kind of like a 710 Amnesia, basically. Uh, Crazy 8 Annihilator, the, the original, not the new one. Uh, bigger templated, super, super fast bag. So meant to be a race bag, meant for high humidity, but just feels wonderful in the hand. I love the way both these materials play and their template that they used is a really solid sizing. Um, if we look at the design, so it, it is a Puma, at least this one has the black and blue Puma with their Strive logo on the back. Um, I think that Strive, a little bit lackluster on the designs in my opinion. I mean, I think they could do a little bit cooler stuff on the designs, but they have all the animal type bags over, but the bag itself, I mean, this is barely thrown, just a break in with softener and wash and tumble. And it just shows like fast bags just break in so much quicker than slow bags. Uh, and even with it barely broken in, I'd say this is probably 70% broken in, still crazy hole friendly, slide around and drop, uh, airmail collect really well, but it's meant to be a ra race bag. You're not going to be blocking that much of these in warm ups. I had to loft them a pretty good amount to get them to slow down. The boards are playing pretty quick and these bags are fast, but in humidity, you know, this seven becomes a nice controllable, like five side when a condition gets sticky. This nine stays like a nine overall i really like this combo price point is where strive shines you know these are acl comp stand for 60 bucks uh all their bags are around 60 bucks they got the piranha pink dolphin kong uh puma uh what else they got the cayman the mufasa they got all these lines for 60 bucks and they're a mix of comp and pro stamp uh just really solid price point to be in a stamped bag with tons i mean you could throw just strive and have an entire lineup from carpet to slow bag to fast bag very easily they have a nice array of bags uh, they got the small disc fill. You guys know I really like the disc fill. Overall hand feel is amazing. Uh, really, really happy with this bag. Um, right out of the box, I knew, again, that it was going to be my favorite, and it's, it's turned out to be that way. A little bit quick right now, but I know in the spring these bags are going to play amazing, and I just overall am really happy with, uh, with this combination. Uh, it's one of my favorite combinations, especially with this template size. So throw some bags here, see if we can throw well. I've got to throw them a little bit higher because the bags are fast, but all you got to do is get them close to the hole and they're going to drop in. So a little bit of right on that one. Ooh, a little bit too quick. Airmail drag for three. Oh, too deep. Again, man, the downhill airmail, it's just so messy with me. You got to come shorter this way, longer that way, but should have it down by now by how many reviews I've recorded today but again look at that <laughs> just that was like one inch away from sliding down in and these aren't in man when I get these things nuked it's gonna play like a viper I mean you just got to get it near the hole it's gonna go in that was not a good bag there we go I mean like race bag right up the middle and I choked the last bag. But again, you're you're gonna try to make every single one of these bags with this one. I mean, I'm really excited to try these things once we get to the summer more, because it gets, in Minnesota, especially when the sun goes down, the humidity just explodes up. So these things are gonna play in the humid boards really nicely. That bag was horrendously bad. That is probably not much better. <laughs> there we go. Short airman. Again, man. <laughs> uh, switching to the sides. Uh, just when I got to throw this soft, you know, I'm not a fast bag player in these fast conditions, so it's hard for me to stay straight when I got to loft it this much. Oop. Kicked a little bit to the right on me there. Uh, all right, Eddie, come on now. There you go. Let's go for an airmail. Oh, hit the airmail, didn't get the drag. Not quite deep enough, a little bit short. 
but again, they feel wonderful in hand. You know, I, I think that they're, they don't really kick any much. Mine are moving because I'm literally throwing them that way, I'm throwing them on the left or right cut. So that's not me. That's not the bag. Let's go for an air mount right away. Let's try to go. Oh, Eddie. Gosh, is that awful. There we go. Let's try to actually aim a little bit and then I can take them. Turns out when you aim, uh, they actually go where you're trying to throw them. You can't just throw them blind every time. I feel like some throws, I'd be better off putting a blindfold on how bad I throw. But, you know, for how consistent I feel like I've been lately, it's amazing how this game just knocks you back down once in a while. Not quite good. There we go. Back to my follow through. Uh, not quite like that. All right, let's go fast side here. Start throwing a little more fast side. But fast side is fast. There we go. I landed in the dead spot. And it's there. Fast side, you guys know Viper fast, Pro Sniper fast. I mean, it will climb. Humidity does not matter. Material is waterproof, so you can literally dunk, dunk these things in water, and that fast side will stay at a nine. We're on fast side here again. Just got to stay up the middle nice and easy, and that thing will slide all the way up for me. Fast side air mill. Oh, a little bit too short. You got to air mill for your four baggers. Come on. Open board, always air mill. <laughs> All righty. Again, Strive, I mean, I've reviewed their Pink Dolphins. I've reviewed their Mufasas. I've reviewed their uh, Caymans. And this is probably going to be my favorite bag of the bunch. I, you guys just know I like there. If I could stop block, throw fast side here. Uh, a little bit too fast. Airmail. Oh, <laughs> hit so much of the hole it took a right turn off the board. I'll go down back one more time. Oh, a little bit quick on the fast side there, but Let's see if we can dial a couple in here. All right, well, that was nice and short. I'll go for a little right to left cut. Wow, I landed right before the bag and instead of cutting in, it took a little hop. Go for another one. Oh, I hit the bag again. A little hard to collect that bit fast of a bag. A little fast side here. There we go, stake around the side. Usually the cut shots, I mean, I threw both those cut shots where I wanted to, but the bag is just a little bit quick. It just kind of bounces off instead of grabbing. Come down here one more time. Again, I mean, if you like a fast bag, yeah, loft that one. A little too high. Let's go fast side here. I landed in the dead spot too. All right, air mill to finish. Backside air mill, nice. All righty, well, the Strive Puma. I think this will easily be their most popular bag or one of them. People really like fast bags. They like Vipers and at this price point, why wouldn't you? You know, 60 bucks, really solid price point. They break in super quick. They feel super nice in hand, really solid template size. Everything about this bag I really much enjoy, except for the fact these boards are lightning fast right now. But So I wouldn't normally use them, but when these when humidity starts kicking, these things are going to be sweet. So appreciate you guys stopping by for another review. If you like this stuff, please like, comment, subscribe. Hope you have a great rest of your day and rest of your week, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.